Well, it's been a long time, folks, but myself and Chris are back in the house. We're on the new EMBN set, a place where we should have been over 18 months ago. Uh, so on today's show, we've got loads of news and what you guys have been up to and... Some not so nice moments as well, Steve, so stick around. Well, starting things off then, Chris, uh, did you see last week's show where we, where we uh, featured the new steel Starling bike with the British motor? I did. It looks a pretty exciting bike, that, for sure. Yeah, and you know what? That's, that's the thing I miss in the mountain bike world. You don't actually get to see so many prototypes these mm -hmm. days. Yeah. I mean, when we raced downhill, prototypes were, were all the thing, weren't they? Exactly. You know, I think it's refreshing We're seeing all this tech creeping in. That's what's keeping it exciting for me. Every single week, it seems, as we're moving forward. Yeah, certainly when it comes to new products, EMTBs are definitely leading the way in mountain biking. For sure. uh, let's go in uh, with the news then, Chris. Mm -hmm. Now, it seems that the Italian uh, boot and shoe manufacturer, Sidi, or is that CD? I don't know. Sidi? I'm not too sure on Sidi. that I've uh, come out with a new mountain bike shoe. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Dimaro SDS. It's mm -hmm. got a Vibram sole on it. It looks a pretty uh, solid looking shoe, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got loads of cool features as well. So you've got that protective toe box on there. And one thing I really like about that shoe is this elasticated collar, which is in and one thing I find super annoying on those dusty, you know, rocky rides is little stones falling into your shoes, grinding away. But this is said to prevent all those, uh, you know, rocks and things falling in there. Ah, ah, well, there's two things there, right? Mm -hmm. First thing is I don't actually get to see the dust that you see <laughs> and where you've been living. We need to move out of Wales. But the, the second point is uh, I've recently met up an old friend who mm. might have the solution. Really? to your problems of uh, rocks falling into your shoes. So I caught up recently with the former World Downhill Master Champion, uh, John Walker. He's also a veteran of many uh, Paris-Dakar rallies. Uh, Chris, this is gonna blow your mind. Nice. Guys, you are not looking at a pair of dancing shoes there. You were looking at the shoes, or should I say boots, of the former World Downhill Champion, John Walker. John, they're incredible but they're also very unique aren't they yeah yeah i've only ever seen one more pair really a guy called eddie yeah. that rides around our way yeah uh, the reason i bought them I broke snapped my ankle off me left ankle snapped <laughs> it went straight round the back of my ankle yeah and i was looking like you used to ride in wellies well i got i got taken the mick out of riding, wellies. riding in wellies <laughs> well i tried the trials boots but it was too heavy yeah trials boots and all of a sudden in the catalogue yeah. i saw these and they're proper they're, they're legit they're legit they're legit yeah. mountain bike boots the italians made them nobody else but the italians yeah, yeah. could make something like this yeah and I saw them and I thought, they are the boot to have to <laughs> protect my ankle. Yeah. This ankle has got a plate in yeah. to protect the ankle. And sure enough, I ordered a pair yeah. and the guy, the importer said, we've never, we've never been asked for any of those. Yeah. And uh, they managed to get me some in and uh, lo and behold, <laughs> my mate Eddie saw them, he bought a pair. Yeah. And I think that was the only two pair they sold in England. But guys, the special thing about these, obviously you might have just seen it a minute ago, is that the SPD, SPD boots. clipped in. And they're legit, SPD, they're totally legit. Totally legit, legit, <laughs> SPD. And the, the another thing they've got is the beautiful purple color inside. I mean, look at that. They, yeah. They're really nicely made. Yeah. They still make trials boots. Which uh, are not far off these, yeah, are they? they're not far off these, the mm. trials boots. They're, they're just about uh, a little bit heavier yeah. and a thicker sole. So here's the question, you know. John. Obviously, we both have ridden trials for many years. Yes. And now um, yes. we rode downhill for many years. Yes. And now we ride e-bikes. Yes. Do you reckon e-bikes should be clipped in or flats? Clipped in depending on if you unless you're going super techie yeah okay if you're going super techie then flats i ride flats if i don't know where i'm going to go but i'd ride clipped in if i'm going to do uh morzine or flat downhill or yeah. you know flowing down hills yeah do you know what i was in torridon uh, a few yes. weeks ago and i was basically riding 12 hours of stream beds yes and i was scared i was getting rocks flying up flying my shins you. I reckon there's a place some, for these. Oh yeah, some for these. <laughs> and they're light. Yeah. They're so light as well. Yeah. You know, yes, they could change the colour. Yeah. And that, I think, put yeah. a lot of people off. Yeah. You know, if there was black yeah. or black, uh, you know, 
they, could, they would yeah. really, you know, they're yeah. missing a, they're missing a trick so. here. I think uh, they need to re resurrect <laughs> these boots. Folks, I never, ever thought I'd be talking boots on the channel, but I think it's actually <laughs> quite relevant. But uh, let's know your thoughts of John Walker's Gen uh, SPD uh, lightweight uh, silver and no. purple. Well, I think they're amazing. <laughs> like I say, let's know your thoughts. <laughs> awesome. Chris, what do you reckon about the uh, the pink colorways and that? I'm not going to cut. Well, I'm not too sure about the colors, but I do love the tech that's coming with that shoe, and I think we could definitely learn something from those. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think on on, on e mountain biking, yeah. the places you get we get stones mm -hmm. coming at us all the time yeah. in these wild places. I, I reckon there's some some territory there to be revisited. Definitely. Uh, uh, now, Chris mentioned some not so nice mm -hmm. things this week. Uh, Tom Cardi's uh, recently had a pretty bad yeah, spill, a, hasn't he? This is a nasty one. So Tom was out filming. Um, big dirt jump session going off of his mates and Tom has been really pushing it recently so it's pretty sad to see he over rotated on a front flip landed pretty much on his front wheel went over the handlebars to flat and doing that so he got a concussion and a ruptured spleen so it means uh, quite a bit of time off the bike for Tom so yeah. wishing him all the best for a speedy recovery and hope how, to see him I mean how there. difficult is it to, to I mean how key is the timing in a move like that it's like it's it's, it's, it's you're talking like millimeters right yeah it's a front flip is one of those hard to judge sort of rotations I think if you get it slightly under rotated or over rotated as Tom did it can lead to you know a huge crash and obviously the impact of this was huge if you listen to the noise that Tom makes when he hits the ground it's from that high point and he's literally landed straight on his front so mm. not a nice thing and it's, a, it's super sad to see as well you know Tom was really getting back up there after his recent injuries his shoulders and stuff have been letting him down so yeah mm. wishing you all the best Tom from us here yeah. on EMBN for a speedy recovery. Yeah. Take it easy and uh, when you look, looks like you're smiling, but mm. uh, sooner or later you need to get some of that Guinness and steak in you to aid your recovery. <laughs> uh, now moving on to some product, uh, Muckoff have come out with a new cleaner, which is the, one of the world's first plastic-free cleaners. Mm. Uh, comes in two 30 gram powder sachets. Um, it's sold with a bottle for life aluminium option, right? Yeah, so this is pretty cool from Muckoff. So traditionally they were going to be coming in these plastic bottles, so they've cut down on all of that, and just with these little sa sachet powders can actually make two litres of bike wash from those little sachets. So, yeah, um, uh, it's pretty innovative uh, stuff there, Chris. Mm -hmm. Looks like uh, Muckoff say they're going to save 61 tonnes of plastic a year. Mm -hmm. So lots of news there, folks. Uh, let us know what you think about the boots. I'm interested to see what Chris thinks about the boots. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. And I certainly think that's going to be a thing of the future. For sure. Steve, looking pretty fresh. Is that the uh, black EMBN core t-shirt? Well, I clearly fooled you there, haven't I? Because this is actually about three days old, this t-shirt really? is. Yeah, yeah, and a bit crinkly. Uh, but behind me, I do have the latest uh, long sleeve, um, they're not hoodies, what are they called? Sweatshirts. Sweatshirts. Uh, obviously, the t-shirts come in a range of uh, sizes and colors. Yeah. And we've got some new products on the way as well. We right? have, yeah. We've got the new race jerseys in stock at the minute. So if, if you haven't checked those out, be sure to check them out. They're looking great. And of course, a new lining headwear we've got some new caps and a five panel hats trucker caps and um i thought they were eight panel five panel steve you've got to get down with the kids oh i'm clearly not cool <laughs> and I'm some standard so baseball cool. caps in there as well so be sure to check that embn merch shop out Coming up this week on EMBM, we have got some great videos for you, as always. And kicking things off on Friday, we're taking a look at Rock Steps. Now, what's this about, Steve? <laughs> uh, well, I was actually up with Chris Aikrig uh, back in April time. And um, yeah, some big, big rocks up in Yorkshire. And I, I really wanted to know how to get up these, you know, probably three foot high. It kind of didn't go quite to plan. <laughs> I think I've seen a clip from this one. You got the uh, no hander, the Dartmoor no hander out again, didn't you? Wait and see, wait and see. <laughs> uh, then on Sunday, Chris is taking a downhill bike up against a downhill EMTV. Now we've done this previously on the channel uh, in Italy about three years ago. On that occasion, we had a 160 mil high bike up against the Canyon Sender. This time, uh, the, the, the ground is more even. Well, the ground's not even. The ground wasn't even rough. at Fort William. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we got 200 mil versus 200 mil. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty tough day, right? It was pretty much, uh, yeah, my eyeballs are just about back in my skull and my fillings have finally been replaced. But yeah, an epic day out, so be sure to check that one out on Sunday. And now on Monday, 
Monday, we've got five mm -hmm. things Shimano. I mean, many of you guys know a lot of the features on the Shimano EP8 motor, but there might be a few features which you don't know about. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tackle uh, some of them. We're looking behind the scenes at some of the uh, other products you can get from, from Shimano for the EP8 motors. That's coming out on Monday. Nice. Right, it's time for all the comments from all the recent videos here on EMBN. And we did a recent video where Steve took the E downhill bike up to the hills in Torridon and did some epic climbs. We've got a few comments in uh, in relation to that video. Uh, this is from Stefano ATH. Uh, just add a 29er to the front of that bike. Yeah, I think I think 29 inch wheels mm -hmm. uh, on downhill bikes are pretty much where it's at at the moment. And uh, yeah, but you know what? It's, is it better? I think it is slightly better. Yeah. But ultimately, it's just a feeling. Yeah. And this one then from Piney Muster it says, seems quite ideal combination for an e-bike. The price on that Husqvarna uh, isn't too shocking either, although still too, still a bit high. Yeah, it is. It is good value that yeah. uh, Husqvarna Extreme. Yeah, pretty loaded, aren't they? The uh, spec on that bike is uh, pretty unreal. And as we mentioned, uh, Chris has got. Uh, it will be putting the Husqvarna e-bike through his paces very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on out to the tech show, and Gavin Diamond says uh, Shimano XTR levers with MT7 calipers from Magura, and 220 mm ro rotors. Awesome combination for slowing down. Yeah, I've heard that. A lot of people have been messing around with that, haven't they? It's Shiguras or something they call them, don't they? Shiguras. And then uh, the man which we featured earlier in today's show, Johnny Walker, who's, who is actually a very experienced guy when it comes to, down to mechanics, says, took the tokens out of the Zebs. Loads better use. Or should I say that in a northern accent? What would you say? <laughs> Loads better use. 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 Yeah, I think, uh, what's your thoughts use? on uh, tokens and that? I think we just talked about air pressure, didn't we, in uh, suspension? And it's, it's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. um, I know Nico Vulios, the reigning EWS E champion, has got his own take on uh, how you know to set up forks and suspension on an e-bike. And it is very different to setting up uh, an EMTV mm -hmm. to an MTV. And we're going to something we're going to be exploring in the weeks ahead. This week's Tech of the Week is right up my street. Uh, this is Carsten from Germany, isn't it? Yeah, with a bit of butchering going on on his crates. It's not butchering, it's not butchering. <laughs> this is forward this thinking, is, right? This is lateral thinking, this is. Love it. So basically, Carsten was out on a huge ride and he was out in the middle of nowhere and he smashed his pedal on a rock and therefore ripped the thread out of his crank arm. So obviously his pedal fell off, so he had no means of getting back. So he uh, tracked down the local farm, got there and got a huge bolt out of there. You would like this, Steve. Wound it into the aluminium, bit it in there, put a, a locking bolt on it, and use that bolt as an actual pedal to get it back from the middle of nowhere. So mm. I think it's really cool, actually. It's a bit of a bodge, but I like yeah. his way of thinking. It obviously wrote that whole crank arm off, but I suppose it was knackered anyway because the yeah. thread wasn't in there. So uh, yeah, my only comment, uh, Carson, is I'd probably go for galvanised in the future, not you know, not uh, you know, mild steel. You but, must have uh, done that before, Steve, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, well, what about some summer skies then? Although maybe you are coming into the springtime in the Southern Hemisphere. I hope you watched the British Lions last weekend, so I shouldn't be really running into the conversation. But it's time for Out and About, and kicking things off is Steve uh, on his Orbea Wild in uh, Painswick, Gloucestershire. Lovely blue skies there. It's a nice looking bike there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I like this next one, Chris. This is uh, uh, Brett out in Bowdery National Park, New South Wales, Australia. God, we've got some great viewers from Australia, haven't we? On the it's channel? all over the world, and I'm really jealous of those spots that those guys send mm -hmm. in to us. But I mean, just look at that the sea and those dry trails. Oh, what about this then? I want to get some Christmas pronunciation on this next shot from Scotland. Location? Body Run, Blair, Blairath, Blairathol, Scotland? Yeah. Blairathol? Blair, Blairathol. Uh, Is that yeah. pass? This beauty, it's uh, in, you know in sort of uh, keeping with where we've, be mm -hmm. we've been adventuring lately. It looks like he's been out with some and huge then, rides. And yeah. then finally, uh, some finish action mm -hmm. from Yuna, the, another Orbea. Actually, it's not the last of the action, Chris. We've got, uh, we come back to Rumney in South Wales with, um, with Dave and his white E150 2020. That's uh, David Llewellyn. Nice one, guys. It's great, uh, isn't it? Where in the world? I think it's such a diverse, you know, a collection of shots there from literally all over, from Australia back to us here in the UK. It's amazing to see all the spots. Rumney. Rumney. <laughs> 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 
Uh, okay, guys, time to cast our critical eye on your uh, bike vault submission, starting off with this uh, back of the van shot. I think this is the first back of the van shot. This is uh, Martin, a giant trance. Uh, Mark, I'm really sorry, I can't give you a super nice for that. It's a nice bike, it's a nice van with some nice rubber on the back there. I'd like to see a side-on shot of the van, Mart. That's what I want to see, side-on shot. Yeah. Uh, I'm moving on now to Christopher Candil, uh, Cujo Neo in um, Walnut Creek. That's what? nutty, isn't it? It is, isn't it? What are you thinking for that? It's super nice. Super nice, right? Super nice. And so is the next shot. This is mm -hmm. super nice from Todd. Uh, 2090 Special Turbo Levo out in Brookings, Oregon. Chris, I think that's more of a where in the world shot myself. It is, but, isn't it? Uh, looking uh, on the, uh, assuming you're on the coast of the uh, Pacific there, that's, uh, that's a beauty. It Definitely is, super nice. Alongside that waterfall, looks like an epic drive. Yeah. What about Lucy Mouth, Chris? What about James? Lucy Mouth. So this is James of his Orbit uh, Wild FS. He's out in, yeah, Lucy Mouth in Scotland. Uh, just out on the bike after some leg surgery and ideal getting out there. And I think it looks like an amazing spot for a bit of uh, recuperation there, chilling out. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, super nice as well. Super nice, and then moving further south, we've got some uh, bike rack action mm -hmm. and the Trek Power 5 4 Sports um, out in Edale. That's a great part of the world, guys. Yeah. Uh, this is Paul. Um, I think saddle looks a bit spiky to me, though. What, what does? Thinking? The saddle looks a bit uncomfortable with this spike sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a thinking? super nice! <laughs> Next up. Stephen here with his uh, Specialized Turbo 2019 model. He's out in Burley in the New Forest in Hampshire. Morning ride out to the forest, enjoying uh, getting out in the mud with my mates. And it looks like you're having an epic ride. The weather doesn't look great there, but that's part of it, isn't it, e-biking? And uh, I think that's a nice shot. What are you thinking, Steve? Yeah, nice. And now, um, uh, Swinley is a very popular part of the UK for mountain biking. And Jim has got his giant Trans E-Pro. Uh, and I have to say that's, that shows off the giant really well. I think that is a super nice shot. Super nice. Super nice. And I think the next shot is a super nice yeah. as well, out on the moors. The moors are, actually not on the moors, in the Isle of Man. No, it's not. Snaffle, Snaffle Summit, Isle of Man, yeah. Uh, okay, this is a, a beautiful, I love the colourway on that, on mm. that high. Bike. I really like this shot. It's pretty mm. simple, isn't it? But I think Very... it really stands out. The bike looks great. Yeah, for anyone looking for uh, tips on bike vault, uh, images. Um, I think probably what I'd say is that different bikes look better from different angles and I mm -hmm. think this high bike from a three-quarter sideways front yeah, on, it, you know, it really does um, showcase the bike pretty well. So super nice there for James. Wow, uh, and finally we have got some mist action in uh, Metabief. Uh, oh that's a spot that brings back some memories. Um, <laughs> Not necessarily good ones either, I can tell you. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, get away from the point. Uh, this is Jacqueline and Decathlon Stylus. Mm. Uh, Jacqueline, great to see you. It's a great little bike, that is. Uh, we need to see, you're going to see more of the Decathlon on the channel. Yeah. Really sure. like some of their bikes, especially some of the uh, other ones, the sort of less expensive bikes with their Rosie motor coming in at 16. 99 from I, Decathlon. I think that looks, it's, it's true to show like you don't have to spend loads of money on an e-bike to have a great time. I mean, look how high Jacqueline is up in the clouds there, you know, way up the mountain on a bike that's offering really good value. So yeah, Sorry. I think super nice for that. But bike of the week, Steve, what are you thinking? Uh, I quite like that high bike myself. I'm just looking at that now. I think that's the standout shot for me this oh, week as well. So he is James, actually looking at it too. James and his high bike. <laughs> having Snaffle Summit on the Isle of Man. Snaffle, nice. not Scarfell, but Snaffle. But yeah, keep all those images coming into us and any videos, anything you want to show us here on EMBN and use that upload service. So that's it for this week's show, guys. Uh, let's know your thoughts on those booties. Lovely booties. <laughs> Good um, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, get involved in the comments down below and we shall see you next week. Bye.